from the Elephant Sanctuary. It has been an incredible few days hanging out with these amazing animals and even though they're about 20 times the size of the dogs, maybe like 50 times the size of the pups, they remind me so much of Zeus and Sedona, how they interact with each other when it comes to getting treats and how they play with each other. It, it, it just reminds me a lot of the pups and how there are so many innate similarities. A handful of things that I have learned across this experience, number one, that elephants and their herds are run by a matriarch, a female leader. And actually this sanctuary is the only matriarchal led herd in all of Africa that is being observed. First and foremost, this definitely is not a zoo by any means. There are tourists that come in and the elephants are treated at such a high level of respect and communication that is held. There's no ill feeling about being here or having tourists come in. No one's getting, these elephants aren't getting ridden around or anything along those lines. There's science research that is happening, but also the tourist elements are getting to just get a close interaction with these incredible animals and also everything is treat based. Everything is led around giving positive reinforcement. What I've learned so far is how brilliant these elephants are. Now on top of everything that is happening, there's also a lot of research that is being done and they are doing groundbreaking work here in terms of understanding what is happening in the elephant world. But with that being said, let's talk about something super fun. There are 10 elephants here and I highly encourage you guys to come check out this experience and getting to feed them directly is such a unique and weird experience. Their trunks are so awesomely weird and cool and they use it in such a way as though it's a hand coming out of their face but also can smell and hold up to 11 liters of water. My first day here, I was confident that I was not going to know any of the elephants' names within the week that I've been here. And after day two, I'm very proud to say that I know every single elephant and how to distinguish them. So let's go and find out which elephant is which. First, let's talk about the matriarch, Sally. She has been here the longest. There is Nandi, who is the mother to Tandy. There is Tiny Tato, who is the smallest of the bunch. And I should say that there are eight female elephants here and two males. The two males are Shungu and Mushudu. And the volunteers here cannot get enough about Mashudu and how perfectly gorgeous he is. Get ready to see him in some National Geographic stuff later on when he fully blossoms into a beautiful, perfect bull. Who else am I forgetting? There is, there is Amari. There is Madiwa. And there is Shanti. Did I do it all? Who am I forgetting? Sally, Nandi, Tandi, Tato, Mashudo, Shungu, Amari, Madiwa, Shanti. And I always forget about Keisha. This is the fifth time I've, <laughs> I've forgotten how to identify Keisha. This one's Keisha. And 
every opportunity that we get here, whether it's hanging out with the zebras. All gone. Or going on a walk with the elephants. You good? Good man. Good day? Very good. Good. good Excellent. Man. Yeah. Happy to be here. Just being around what this sanctuary is trying to do and being around these animals and these people that are so pro-animal, it really is inspiring to do more and continue to preserve this wildlife. Okay, off my soapbox. And one more thing before we go, the pups are in great hands. My mom actually is in LA for this week and here's a quick pup date. We'll go outside. Say hi to your daddy.